from our sponsors. Five, Yo, come on down to Crenshaw Boulevard right across the street from the dentist's office. Come on down to Crenshaw Classics. You want the stalest burger you ever had in your life? Unedible. Chicken, filler, filled with gizzards, and disgusting ranch dressing. Come on down to Crenshaw Classics today. We're going to hand it on over to one of our happy customers, Crenshaw Pete. Go on, take it away, baby. This Crenshaw Pete. That's right. I walked in there. I ordered me a steak burger. Felt good going in, but it didn't feel good going out, baby. But I knew where I was eating. I was eating on Crenshaw. My booty hole still hot. Crenshaw Classics. Come on down. Get one of our rubbery hot dogs. It's crunchy to the taste. Come on, get our BLT, no bacon, or tea, just L, lettuce, sandwiches, Crenshaw Pete's. Do you want to have some of the most disgusting, most processed meat you've ever seen in your fracking life? Let me tell you something right now, coming out of Crenshaw Pete's, this, this turkey's been so processed, it's a chicken. It just changed up on me, baby. <laughs> damn thing, got processed it with damn chicken. Crenshaw Pete's, disgusting food at a reasonable price. Right on Crenshaw Boulevard, across the street from. Don't touch that! Why well, across the street to get worse and worse? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally on Crenshaw Boulevard, right across the street from Crenshaw Dentistry. Mm-hmm. There's a jacket box on there. Crenshaw, don't break your jaw. <laughs> the dentist. They had bars and windows. They all did. Yep. <laughs> they had that spiky uh, shit on the top of the fences. Oh, the barbed wire? No, all the fences are like spikes. Oh, okay. So you can't climb over them. <laughs> oh, they still do. They're like swords. Oh, if you try to climb over them, you just, <laughs> you just cut your leg open. Uh, so, ooh, I watched Don't okay. Fuck With Cats. Remember that one? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a great fucking documentary. Geez. That dude wanted to be Sharon Stone like it was nobody's yeah, business. Yeah, he was like, he was basically living a movie, his life in a movie, right? Basic Instinct. The movie that's famous for Sharon Stone doing the whole let me adjust my seat scene where she Yeah, she was fucking pretty crazy. Yeah. Um Did she get an Oscar for that? I don't know. Nope. I don't really remember that. But I didn't see the movie, I, I just know the, what it's famous for. Well me too, but like I saw it on the thing and he showed they showed the scenes back to back and how he was like exactly doing what she was doing in the movie and yep. that was fucking that was crazy i know huh we were talking about a sociopath that guy's like a real life sociopath like a full-blown socio psychopath like that's what that that is what a waste of it's crazy of cute skin oh yeah he was a fucking model model wannabe psycho i guess like fucking yeah like he he started the whole charade before he even like started modeling like he had the whole plan it's weird and the way when they exit when they executed him when they uh when they had him like in the thing he was crossing his legs like her yep. asked for a cigarette he yep. was like in that shit that was the that was the big reveal then where I was like holy shit that's fucking crazy yeah he was who a piece did he of shit. keep on blaming the that Mexican a Puerto Rican guy named like fucking <laughs> Juan Pablo or something he beat him and he wasn't even real mm. and he was like a character from a movie that like what was his name I forget like so it was like it was some Puerto Rican guy he was like there's a Puerto Rican guy like everybody does. And then, uh, and his mom was just as crazy. My son is innocent. This is an, uh, an Evans for family. He goes, he's the fat guy. Like he goes and eats all this candy, and he calls his wife, and he's, he's like, "Honey, a Puerto Rican kidnapped me and forced fed me chocolate again. Come pick me up." But um, oh yeah, but it was fucking weird, man. It was weird, but it was still good though. You watched it straight through, or did you have to take a break? I think I took. I watched it over a few days, maybe or a week. 
but it was really good. <clears throat> There's one thing they never explained, which I will always remember. When he found out where that fat girl worked. I think when he was at her job and he like had a camera while he was at her job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was like the main character, right? Yeah, they never explained the, like how. And the other guy was really good. The other guy was like the brains. Remember the other guy? Yeah. He was like the brains and she was like the kind of mm, host the, leader. The she was like this one. Yeah, she was a, she was in, not in charge, but she was like posting all the stuff. She was a leader of the group, and he was like the brains, the tech guy behind the scenes. I can't believe they weren't charged for making that one dude commit suicide. Yeah, but I think he did. He was a piece of shit too, though. I think he did some bad shit. I think he was like a bad guy. He was like posing as the guy too. No, uh, he was. A, he was kind of asking for it. I think he was. He worked at like a boys and girls club or something. I don't think so. I think he was like... He's had the same name or something. Ah, I thought there was more to it than that, but... I don't know. It was it was good. It was fucking crazy. It was nice. Yeah. It's probably one of the best documentaries I've seen. Other than Tiger King? Did you see Tiger King? Oh, that's in a total different like, category. But did that's you watch That's not it? even a documentary. That was it like was? a... That was like a... That was like a... Um, um, what's it called? Um, Mockumentary? TRL. What's that shit? Uh, they're making a show out of real it. world they're making a show out of it live action like with people oh i saw that. Or, like just like uh, i think it's already out uh yeah it's called like uh joe versus carol yeah it's p it's on peacock yeah it's from carol's point of view so, it's fucking but... oh my god oh she, she is trolling the shit out of him she well she's fucking she was pretty crazy too i feel yeah, like but she's like the best troll ever you can't top her Oh really? Like yes. what? Why? What she do? She is living. The, she doesn't really want to be this famous. <clears throat> she is literally doing this to rub it in Joe's face while he's in prison, rotting. Because this is I the know. life he wanted to live. Do you think they should have freed Joe? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> well, I mean, he should be out now. No, he's only been in for a couple years. He got like a twenty-year sentence. He should have been out by now. Trump was going to pardon him, but he didn't. Trump people was were never saying gonna he might pardon, pardon him. him, but he's, people were thinking he might. Trump never even knew, gave a fuck about who he was. He, someone asked him a question. He's like, oh, I don't know. We'll see. So people were like, I don't know. But I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... <laughs> but I, I saw the trailer for the new show. <clears throat> what new show? For the three act oh, reenactment yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. I don't Sitcom. know who the guy who's playing him. I don't know. who. Yeah, no, I don't know him either, yeah. but. I don't know. It might yeah. be stupid. Yeah. I also watched Dune and Dune. I hated, kind of hated Dune. I tried it. I watched both of them too. The first one. My cousin wanted the me other to watch one. it and I tried and I was like, dude, I, I can't. This is too, too fantasy CC. It didn't have a real story. That was the problem. Like it kind of didn't have a story. You know what with. else didn't have a real good story? What? The Batman. Oh, I didn't watch that. Yeah. yeah. That's right, America. I'm the only one who's going to say the movie was terrible. I don't think I'm going to love that. It was stupid yeah is it better dumb. than the dark knight you think i was telling my cousin this i was saying at least in the dark knight we knew what the uh we knew what what was at stake yeah you know mm -hmm. we knew like what was at a loss like we knew how big something you know we knew what the consequences were we knew what was coming uh and that one you didn't know what it was until it happened right there. So oh. there's never a point where you're like rooting for him. He's like, you're almost there. You almost got it. Yeah. yeah. Because he didn't figure out the riddle till it was too fucking late. So by the time he figured it out, the city had already like gone to hell. Yeah. And then the bitch still got shot. Everyone like he was too late. Yeah. I don't know. If, should yeah. I watch it or no? Um, Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it was fantastic. And maybe I just was bored. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it didn't. Hit, <clears throat> it didn't feel like a Batman movie. It didn't have Batman music that. This uh, like and I I watched that shit in IMAX too. Oh, in the theater. Yeah. And. It, it didn't was have just, good effects <clears throat> like fights and shit. It must uh, have had some good fights. It's hard to remember everything. Like, oh. you have to make yourself remember shit. Like, I had to make myself remember when he had to escape out of the police station. That yeah. was cool. Well, you're probably hitting that gravity bong. So you didn't remember too much. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't hit it before. I didn't. I didn't have it in time. Um, the gravity bong just got 
Did I hit the gravity? It doesn't matter. No, because I had to go right after work. Oh. And I didn't have any weed. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. See, if I would have had it, I probably would have enjoyed the movie more. Because I usually hit like Indica and go in there, watch a scary movie, and get extra scared. Woo! It's right, <laughs> baby. I know. Well, I went to Sebastian Maniscalco, too. That was a pretty good show. It was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. We were sitting like in the front, but we were under, low, so it was like kind of, you looked up, so it was kind of lame. But Oh, so you were low, so he couldn't see you? Well, so you like we were in the first like 11 rows, but... Uh, it was like on chairs on the ground, so it was a little weird. Oh, oh, how's your neck? <laughs> I was looking up at the jumbo drum most of the time. <laughs> Who but, needs to look, right? Unless he's an animated type of comedian. Oh uh, yeah, he is. I mean, he's pretty animated, but it was close enough though. So who laughed harder, you or your girl? Uh, everybody was laughing a lot. Who laughed harder, you or your girl? I don't know. Maybe me. Good. But it was funny. Everybody, he was killing. It was really funny. You know what I hate when I'm with somebody, or when I'm watching anything comedic with somebody. Yeah. And it's not that funny to me, but it's funny to them. And they start to laugh, and then they look at you. Oh yeah. Why they're laughing? Because like they want you to laugh, but you're yeah. like, motherfucker, stop looking at me. Or oh, they yeah. elbow you like, eh, hey, hey, hey. I had a friend like that who did that at the movies. <laughs> Oh my god, I never went to the movies with him again. Yeah. And we were seeing uh, Saving Silverman. And there were some funny parts. But uh, the not so funny parts, this motherfucker was elbowing me. I'm like, they exist. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Saving Silverman, that was a great movie too. Talk about <clears throat> funny movie. That was fucking Oh, great. Jack Black was hilarious. And the other guy too, I forget his name. I forgot his name. He's a good actor though. Yeah, he did Bigfoot Gang too or something. Uh, Sasquatch Crew. Or something. Is that and, a serious uh, film? No, it was a comedy. It was pretty funny. He's done serious shit. No, I know. I know. He's very slept on. If I was an actor, I would be like his type. No one knows who he is. Oh, yeah. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe the I we don't just know. Name. Don't. Probably not super famous, but semi famous. It's a good character actor. Yeah. So that's like that guy Rex uh, from those fucking. Uh, He's in the Sandler movies. People don't know him that much. He looks like a fucking model, but he's like a comedy guy. Rex, he plays a dumb guy in all those movies. Grandma's Boy. Did you see Grandma's Boy? Uh-uh. Oh, my God. You should got to watch Grandma's Boy. It's what other movies? Movie. Was he in Uncut Gems? <laughs> no. Just the comedy ones. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Uncut Gems? Yeah, I guess it was. I didn't finish it, though. Oh, man. That movie was good. I've, I'd rather watch that than watch the Batman movie again. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what was better than the Batman, but it was the same type of story? The law-abiding citizen. Oh. With Jamie Foxx and some white guy. Woo! Mm -hmm. That dude was... Now, for that movie, I felt scared for people. Because mm -hmm. he really didn't know who was next. You didn't know. Yeah. Which was nice. But in Batman, you didn't know who was next. But you knew who all the bad guys were. Oh, it, it's just, I don't know why people liked it. Why do people, why do they like it? Because it's Batman, probably. People just like Batman. I'm going to say this right now. The best Batman live action is Batman Forever. Woo! Is that the one with uh, Michael Keaton? No, that's the one with Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Jim Carrey and who's the other guy? Uh, oh, um, Danny DeVito? No. <laughs> oh, I he was in that one. <laughs> no, he, in? he was in Batman Returns. Oh. That one was really good, but I can't remember that all the way. Mm -hmm. And I tried to watch the original Batman with Michael Keaton again. And, you know, it's come on, that's like 30 years ago. It's not. <clears throat> yeah. You know, it was pretty dark. I forgot how dark and scary it was. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's. Actually, it's, I mean, there's not a real... I can complain about any of these Batman live-action movies, really. Mm -hmm. um, this one didn't have a good soundtrack. I can't remember any of the tunes at all. Oh, yeah. Um, the guy who did the Riddler, he... From an actor's point of view, it looked and sounded like he was judging his own performance against Heath Ledger's performance. 
because a lot of his scenes he had to self tape just like Keith Ledger did when he was a Joker and he had the camera and with oh, the yeah. victim. Woo! Yeah. yeah. He was menacing. He was dark. You know, he went from ha 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 to very scary when he screamed at the at the the victim. Yeah. This one, he was just he was more of a you could I could tell that he was performing. Who played Batman? The one guy from Twilight. Oh, that's the new one. Yeah. Oh, he did a good job. I have no complaints about him. He did a good Batman. Um, he handled the humiliation from the police really well. Yeah. You know, because he's just getting introduced to the police, so everyone thinks he's still a freak. Mm-hmm. You know, but Gordon still trusts him and shit, and so it's just showing the bond between him and Gordon, how strong that's getting, and then Catwoman didn't need to be in there at all, and then Colin Firth, is that his name? Farrell? Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell, yeah. He did a great Penguin. Did Penguin? Yeah. Oh. He did. I'm not really a fan of his, though. Me either. In fact, I don't know any other movie he was in, but he did a good Penguin. Were you you not a fan of Penguin or Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell. Okay, I don't know what the fuck he's in. I, I think I saw he was SWAT. In, he was in SWAT. I saw like five minutes of that. Uh he's in a lot of shit. He did he remade one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies. Total recall. Uh, it was god awful. Oh yeah, I didn't like that one either. Yeah. yeah. Whoever thought of that needs to get shot. Not really. Um but he did good as a penguin. He did good. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow, he's the best character in this movie. I'll probably see it at some point, but I don't I'm yeah. not excited about it. Yeah, it's uh yeah, I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. I don't know who. I don't know what generation the movie was made for. It's before Batman was badass. Is when he's just getting into badass mode. Oh, okay. It's just more of the whole community g- gaining his trust. At the mm-hmm. end of the movie, everyone's like, "Oh, he's helping us now. We trust you." Yeah. And Catwoman saves his life. Batman has never needed anyone to save his. Life. Well, well, no. Catwoman saves him all the time. Okay. Man, don't worry. It'll all end as soon as we switch to cryptocurrency. As soon as we get all, yep, all hey. orange man back in the an office. As soon as all the cash flow is gone, I mean, how's somebody gonna rob you? Give me all the cash. How? <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, you think cash is cash is? Dude, they're trying to be like get rid of cash, but that's a bad thing. Yeah, you it is. Keep cash. That's they're like why COVID because of COVID. We don't we don't have cash. It's like that doesn't make any sense. That's why I'm buying a house. Before Free anything cash. crazy happens, <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that I own my house own and I land. own my land. You get a loan. You just get a loan from the bank. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm gonna get a two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I might as well get three hundred thousand. I could pay that off. But I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna get that house and I'm just gonna exhale because then I'm not gonna have to even if I lose my fucking job, that's fine. As long as I know that I'm still living in my home. Well, then you won't have your home if you lose your job. Well, I mean, how many months do you have to go before you get evicted? <laughs> I don't know. Three? <laughs> Hopefully you'll be dead by then. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> After that, I watched another movie where a white dude had to help some black people in a sport do really good. What was it? Can you guess? Eight men out or no? Feel the dreams, do we? I, I fucking no. feel the dreams thing we could do. No, it wasn't that, but I know you're talking about... No, it was the air up there with Kevin Bacon. I never saw it. Kevin, I don't like Kevin Bacon. I love Kevin I, Bacon. I prefer sausage. Kevin Bacon was good in Tremors. That's what I know him for. Dude, I like Tom Sausage. Tom Sausage is better. Never heard of him. He's a, but, he works in the adult film industry. I bet he does. <laughs> okay, but Kevin Bacon plays a college uh, basketball coach. With okay. a blowing out knee. He was going to be an ABA star, but he blew out his knee. Right. Yeah. And ended his career. Five foot six white guy. Yeah. Right. In the NBA. So they felt sorry for him. They were like, you could be the assistant coach at this college. Blah. But then he's like, we got to get more players. He's like, let me go to fucking Africa and get this tall guy. <laughs> That's I so see. racist. Right. Because apparently he saw a commercial that was like, help Africa or something. And it showed this black dude in the background doing a slam dunk. He was on stilts doing a slam like, dunk. I need that guy. <laughs> he is perfect. Just by the way he's looking at the TV and just by the distance, he's got to be six foot something. So right. he goes to Africa and he gets the guy. And the guy's like six tribe. foot ten. 
And he's like, yo, dog, come play for America. And he's like, I can't. I got to take my father's place and like, and, and, and like run this herd of cows and shit. And because our evil brother-in-law is like trying to steal our land. And he's like, oh, that's a shame. And then later on, he's like, but now we set it up to where we're going to play our brothers-in-law one-on-one in basketball or five-on-five. And if our brother-in-law wins, he gets to steal the land. But if we win, the land is ours forever. And then I'll come with you to America. And they play basketball. And Kevin Bacon plays on the team with him. And the motherfucker blows his knee out like four times during the whole game. And each time he blows out his knee, they tell him, they say, Man, you gotta sit down. Because if you blow your knee out one more time, you're through for life. You'll be in crutches. You'll be in a wheelchair. He's like, I gotta get back in the game. So he gets back in the game. And then the other team is like, Go and injure him now. And then they bust his knee. They're like, you really got to stay down. No, I got to get back in the game. <laughs> that sounds like five times. Then I'll get him bacon talks. I got to get back in the game. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> the guy, The guy comes in six foot ten. guy comes over and he's like, your weak white knees can't take basketball. Yep. Stop, oh, stop the, playing. Dikembe Mutombo's brother was in there. He was the bad guy. Who is it? Dikembe Mutombo. Dikembe Mutombo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his brother was in there. He played the bad guy on the other team. So he's like, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, and Those then they hyped it up, and then they got one of the girls in there to play. And she was busting three-pointers like she had nothing else to do. But he didn't take her back to Africa or America. So he took the kid back to America, and he made him cut his hair. Racist. Uh, okay, Batista. I liked um, him in Hotel Artemis. Or I just liked Hotel Artemis as a movie. I turned it on, fell asleep, it. woke up, and the ending was happening. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not really their fault that that happened. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> I don't know. This wasn't... I don't know. I don't know. It happened. was really good. I think, honestly, it was a great movie. It was re- under, slept on, but like people, the kids say. No, oh, because they released it at a bad time. It, it was during the pandemic. It was good. I watched it. Uh, it was really good. How um, did Batista do? He was he was good. He was like a main not main character, side character. But he was like the help. Didn't he just dispose of a whole bunch of shit? He didn't like kill. He was kill. like the he security just... guard and like the helper of the nurse who was in the hotel. Charlie Kelly was in there from or Charlie Day from. Mm. What the fuck was that? My fingers are greasy. So. Oh my god! But uh, I like obviously it's Charlie from Sunny. But mm-hmm. yeah, it was good. It was a really good movie. Slept on. I guess so. Um, I guess that was all I saw. Should we do a quick script or what are we doing? We gotta call Trish in a minute. Should we knock this script out real quick? Your mouth oh, <laughs> I, I forgot where the buttons were. I'm totally sorry. Wrong. I forgot. It's been a while. I should remap them. Uh. Read that scrap. No, that was bad. Let me, let me try it again. <laughs> Read that scrap. Uh, I can't see that coming out like I wanted in my head. Yeah. Read it, motherfucker. Hang on, hang on. Okay, that's enough. I suck. <laughs> Read that script. <laughs> Everything I do sucks. <laughs> hang on, hang on, let me try it again. Let me try it again. What you gonna do today, Napoleon? Whatever I feel like I want to do, gosh. Your current event, Napoleon. <sighs> oh. Last week, Japanese scientists explaced, placed explosive detonators at the bottom of Loch Ness to blow Nessie out of the water. Stir cut Godfrey of the Nisili and Leas summoned the head, summoned the help of Scotland's local wizards to cast a primitive spell over the lake and all of its residents. All those who seek Peaceful existence of our underwater ally. Hey, Napoleon, what did you do last summer again? <sighs> I told you, I spent it with my uncle hunting Alaska and wolverines. <laughs> Damn it, hang on. Hey, Napoleon, what did you do last summer again? <sighs> I 
told you, you're spending in Alaska hunting wolves. Did you shoot any? Yeah, 50 of them. They kept trying to attack my cousins. What the heck would you do in a situation like that? What kind of gun did you use? Freaking 12 gauge, what do you think? <clears throat> you think you're funny, huh? J just watch your step. I didn't. Hey, could, uh, could I use your guy's phone for a sec? Is there anything wrong? Oh, I don't feel very good. Hi! Is Grandma there? No, <sighs> she's getting her hair done. <sighs> Can you just get her for me? I'm really busy right now. <sighs> well, just tell her to come and get me. Why? Because <sighs> I don't feel good. Well, <sighs> have you talked to the school nurse? No, she doesn't know freaking anything. Why could you just come and get me? No. Well, will you do me a favor then? Uh, what? <sighs> Can you bring me my chapstick? No, Napoleon. My lips hurt real bad! Just borrow some from the school nurse. I know she has like five sticks in her drawer. <sighs> I'm not gonna use her, you sicko! Uh, see ya. Click. God, freaking idiot! Oh, God. God. Ugh. David Pemke, please come to the office! You do understand English, right? The, the, that this isn't that complex. Look, the cafeteria is down the hall, to the right, and downstairs. <sighs> is that kid new or something? Napoleon, this is Pedro. Pedro, <laughs> would you mind showing him where his locker is? Sure, come on. You know, there's like a buttload of gangs in the school, you know. Uh, this one gang kept wanting me to join because I'm like pretty good with the bow staff and stuff. Uh, do you ride this bus to school? No, I ride my bike. What kind of bike do you have? Uh, it's a sledgehammer. Dang, you got shocks, pegs, lucky. You ever take that off any sweet jumps? Pedro rides his bike and does a little jump. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you got like three feet in the air that time. Can I try it really quick? Go Dang it! Frank. I love the way your sandy hair floats in the air. To me, it looks like a lullaby. I'm just flying by. Oh, so high! Like a kite tied to a skate. <laughs> How is school? Worst in my life, you think? Well, uh, wow. see, go see the detainers to pay some of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanna go see if Tina wants some of this? She wasn't the flipping anything today. Look, tonight, me and your kid, listen! What? Tonight, me and your aunt are going to go visit some friends that we're not gonna be back till tomorrow. So we're getting a little low on steak, so I got. Lau coming over tomorrow to take care of it. Well, what's there to eat? Knock it off and play and make yourself a damn case of the, uh... Fine! Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. <sighs> Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. Napoleon, don't be jealous and that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, we both know I'm training to become a cage fighter. <sighs> Since when? Get you the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon! What? I say come down here and see what happens if you try to hit me. Oh, such an idiot. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what you got your best movies. <sighs> oh, ding dong. I'll get it. Jeez. Um, hello. Um, would you like to look like? Would you like to look like <laughs> this? This is a girl. Because for your limited time only, like glamour shots by Deb are like 75% off. I already get my hair cut at the cutting corral. Well, maybe you're interested in some home woven handicrafts? <laughs> now, Rex, fighter the K Kwan Do self defense system. After one week with me and my dojo, you'll be prepared to defend yourself. And with the strength of a grizzly, the reflexes of a puma, and the wisdom of a man. So come on down for your free trial lesson! Here, we have some boondoggle keychains. I, uh, I must have this for season's fashion. I already made like a freaking a thin it. I already made like a <laughs> what? <laughs> I already made like freaking infinity. I already made like freaking infinity of those at Scouts Camp. Well, maybe is anyone else here? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to earn some money for college. Your mom goes to college. Tina, you fat lard, get some dinner! <laughs> Tina! Tina, eat the food! 
Eat the food! <laughs> It'd be nice if you could pull me into town. My name is Rex, and if you study with my eight-week program, you'll learn a system of self-defense that I developed over two seasons of fighting in the Octagon. It's called Rex Quan Do. I need a volunteer. Okay, you'll do. Come up here. Bow to your sensei. I said bow to your sensei. Okay, now I'm going to give you one chance. One chance, people. Give me your best shot. All right. Huh? That was pretty good. Okay, now. Uh, everybody, watch. Grab my arm. The other arm. My other arm. Okay, now watch this. I'm just going to break his wrist and walk away. Break his wrist and walk away. Rex hits Kip's. Rex hits Kip's wrist. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Rex hits Kip's. Rex hits. Rex hits Kip's wrist. Mm. Rex. <laughs> you say it. Rex hits Kip in the wrist. <laughs> Rex hits Kip in the wrist. Jeez. Okay. See? I just that simple. Now. I want you to kick me. Come on, kick me. Ugh. Okay, now do it again. Ah, do it again. Ouch. Okay. You'll block it every time. Have a seat. Now, in addition to what you just saw, if you study with my eight-week program, you're gonna learn these things. First off, Rex Quinn Doe. We use the buddy system. No more flying solo, you know what I'm saying? You need somebody watching your back at all times. Second off, you're gonna learn the discipline in your image. Do you think I got where I am today because I dress like Peter Pan here? No! Take a look at what I'm wearing, people. Do you think anybody wants to have a roundhouse kick to the face while I'm wearing these bad boys? Arr, forget about it! Last off, my students will learn about self-respect. Do you think anybody thinks I'm a failure because I go home to Starla at night? Forget about it now, boy! Now for only $300, you can sign up right now for my AB program. Napoleon is towing Kip back to his home on a string. And Kip says to Napoleon, well, that place was a rip off. Hey, uh, Lyle. Nothing on here works smooth. <laughs> Gunshot. <laughs> School bus of kids screaming. <laughs> So, um, you and are pretty much like friends now, right? See? See, so like, you got my back and everything? What? <sighs> Never mind. Have you heard about this dance? Yeah. Have you met anyone to ask yet? No. I probably will after school. <sighs> Who are you gonna ask? That girl over there. Summer? Wethley? <sighs> what the heck are you gonna do that for? I don't know. Build every cake or something. Yeah, my old girl from Oklahoma we used to fly her out here for the dance, but she couldn't because she's doing some modeling right now. So, oh, she, was she hot? <laughs> oh, freaking see for yourself, man. Wow. Yeah, I took her to the mall to get some glamour shots for her birthday one year. Yeah, I like her bangs. Me too. Mm. <sighs> How long did it take you to grow that sweet mustache? Yeah, just a couple of days. <laughs> <sighs> Wish I could grow one. You can eat your tots. Nah. Can I have them? Hmm. Yeah. See that girl over there? She came to my house the other day. Why? I don't know, but she left this crap on my porch. Uh, she's pretty good looking. Did you ever go talk to her? Sure. Oh, wait, wait. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. 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 Well, whatever. <laughs> Just go over there. Let's go, yeah. Napoleon walks over to the girl, probably inbred, and he says to her, So you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. I mean, you could be drinking whole if you wanted to, you know. Well, I mean, anyways, I have all your equipment in my locker. Uh, you should probably come get it because can't fit my nunchucks in there anymore. Uh, where's your locker? <laughs> hey, Napoleon, give me some of your thoughts. <sighs> no, find your own. Give me, come on, man, give me your thoughts. <laughs> no, I'm freaking starving over here. I didn't eat freaking anything today. Gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Freaking idiot, you smashed my tots. God. Oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> All right, that was it. Baseball fit on, and people see, or he sees dead baseball players. It's like, uh. What a fucking loser. Six cents, but with baseball. Here we go. One time there was a man named Ray. And. Some people called him crazy. Well, this is his story. 
and the people's lives affected by his deeds. <laughs> Ray had a cornfield. He lived out in the corn, you know, out in the out in the wheat, you know. He was a hillbilly. And he plowed that corn, and maybe he made that money for his family. And uh, sometimes, being a corny guy, it's tough. It weighs on you. In here. <sighs> Ray always loved baseball. And his father. Something about, like, his father. When, like, actually, when I saw the movie, like, you know, 15 years ago, like, his father, his dad was, like, an asshole. He would never play catch with him. He never had to have a catch with him. You know what I mean? Anyways, Ray was sad man. He doesn't ever get to play catch with his father, who passed away. So he built the field. Oh, he built the field, baby. And he said, like, uh, you know, for like some reason, he was like fucking like a bunch of dead baseball players came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? It was like fucking it was like, uh, you know, it was like uh, it was like uh, the perfect six, six cents uh, meets baseball. You know what I mean? Mm. That's what it was. Anyways. So one day Rick built this. He heard a voice. He heard a voice. And the voice said, "Yeah, I feel crazy." So one day, Ray was out on his baseball field. And who showed up from behind the cornfields? But it was Shoeless Joe Jackson. Walked out, and he said to him, "Ray, people will come. Ray, they'll come to no. our way." No, 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 no! Don't read it yet. Oh. You're, you're Shoeless Joe Jackson now. Motherfucker, I don't know. You're Shoeless, uh, I just said Shoeless Joe Jackson. That's not Shoeless Joe Jackson. Oh. You who's... know who Shoeless Joe Jackson is? No. He's a white, white baseball player from the 20s. He's dead. We're doing an improv. Why didn't you say it? I undead? said Shoeless. You don't know who Shoeless Joe Jackson is? No. He's a New York Yankees baseball player. He was a legend. Just and be a, be a did legend. Did you know this before? Be a legend. Did you know that before? Be a legend. Wa- Ray walked off of the cornfield. He's, he's hitting a home run into the corn, right? Boom, cat, boom, thinking about cat. Wish my father had played catch with me. Cat. How come he was never there? Cat. Oh, was he always at the steel mill? Catch. <laughs> One didn't hit the ground. He heard a, he heard a glove catch. Pop. And then a man walked out. And the shoe was Joe Jackson, who was born in the 20s. So obviously he's not fucking alive and he's a ghost. <laughs> She was Joe Jackson walks out and he says to him, "Nice hit, boy. Next time, hit it center field." Oh, center field. Yeah, they never expected to go that low. Not You're real sh- baseball. You shoot this Joe Jackson. <laughs> yes, that's true. I'm the only one who could run with no shoelaces. Shoeless Joe. It's shoeless, not shoe. You had shoelaces. You just didn't have shoes. You know. Yeah, Shoeless. but in the twenties, they were very hard to come by, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows that Shoeless Joe Jackson had shoelaces. That was the thing. Look, 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 boy! I'm Everybody trying to knew. tell you that you hit the ball good. Don't you argue about my pass? I knew what okay. I saw. It. I saw what I mean. Okay. Well, listen. Ah, damn! You see my Joe? left shoes around here somewhere. I've been looking for it all damn. You're day. losing them all the time. I mean, Jesus Christ, Joe! Well, how come you can't keep your damn oh, shoes boy, on? Don't make me lose my temper. <sighs> Now, Jesus. you hit the ball over there in the cornfield. Now we got to go in the cornfield and look for the ball. But why are you in the cornfield looking for the ball? I need you to look for my left shoe. I'm getting tired of being shoeless. It's cold. <laughs> now, I'll be right back. I'm going in there to look. But when you see it, you just yell out, shoeless Joe, I found your shoe. I'll let you. What was it? Size 9? 10? Sneak Probably anyways. back in my days, we didn't have shoe sizes. A shoe was a shoe. All right. Well, you just, your, your foot would size a shoe. I'll try to find it. Anyway, shoeless Joe. You grow into I was, it. I was I built this field because my father would never play catch with me. Very nice field you grew. And uh You grew I a heard, field. I heard someone say, build it. Build it. Build it. And I was like, what the fuck does that mean? What am I going out of my mind if like I have schizophrenia? You probably do, son. Shoot. I mean, if you're you're seeing things, I mean, look at me. I'm dead. I haven't been alive since 1924. And you're seeing a dead man. Talk about a shoe. And you telling me that you're hearing things? I think you're twice as crazy, son. You're twice as crazy, that's what you are. You're crazy. Why did you just go and kill yourself right now? 
He said, <laughs> if you build it, they will come. Who's they, Joe? The people who want to play. The people who want to watch. The people who want to stand up and sing, take me out to the ball game. 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 You get some peanuts and cracker jacks, Joe? Yeah, you know the song. Back in my days, it was just peanuts. Cracker jacks didn't come out till after I died. Boy, don't you mock me. You know, the, the blacks don't like those cracker jacks. Cracker jacks, <laughs> jacker cracks. Everything came in a box of jacker crack, crack jack jacks. <laughs> but they won't just come for the cracker jacks, boy. They'll be boys coming with their fathers. Their father's coming with their fathers. And their mothers will stay home, waiting for their fathers to come home. But, you know, if you're in Arkansas, and you come home, you can beat your wife once a month. Damn. All right, Joe. Maybe I'll see you. Maybe we'll have a catch sometime, Joe. Uh, let me catch my shoe first, boy. Oh, let yeah, try to find that shoe. shoe. If you can, yeah, try to keep them on next but time. Hey, boy, let me tell you one more thing before I go. What's that, Joe? Jesus. Hit that ball center field, boy. <laughs> All right, Joe. We'll see. We'll talk to you later, Joe. Come on. I'm going to get going. You know what I mean? I got to go back inside. My wife is kind of, you know, she's going to be wondering why I'm talking to a dead guy out here. So listen. Welcome, Joe. I'll see you later. Welcome. We'll talk later. Welcome. Oh, all right. I'm going to go back. Oh. Joe faded away into the corn. Disappeared. Ah. The next day came. And now we need a little bit up, more upbeat music, you know? Just something bouncy, you know? Da -da 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 -da. Does another guy come? What are we in Jungle Book now? <laughs> Ray. Ray. People thought maybe he was crazy. He was out there. Making a baseball field. And his family. They couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't afford groceries. He went to his wife and she was screaming at him. She said, what are you doing making this baseball field? She said, You're wasting your time, Joe. Oh, Ray. <laughs> Ray. You're wasting it's your Ray. time. It's Ray. It's Ray. Ray. We live in Idaho. <laughs> you Let's never kill these me. fucking potatoes. You don't even know my name. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what your name is. I know there's a Joe out there who is spending this time making a goddamn <laughs> baseball field. No one's coming. No one's coming, Ray. You know who else ain't coming? Me. Because you ain't doing it right. <laughs> Get your ass inside the house and bring that corn, boy. <laughs> I understand your frustrations. Let me tell you something right now. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix the corn with baseball. Oh, plot twist. There's a lot of people around. There was just there was those this one business guy, right? The business dude, right? He's like, Ray, Ray, you can't afford it. You know, you can't afford this place. And he was like a he was like a he was like a he was like a banker guy, you know, and he was he wanted things. Him to stop all this baseball and do some corn. And he said to him, Don't be a fool. Take care of your family. Oh, you want me to do that? <laughs> yeah, do him. <laughs> well, Ray, uh, what you're doing is stupid, Ray. Take care of your family, Ray. I know this great boys and girls club right around the corner. You can have two boys, Ray. You can take them to the boys and girls club, Ray. They can play baseball there, Ray. They got stick ball, Ray. You don't have the funds, Ray. What you gonna do? You gonna sell corn, Ray? There ain't no movie theaters around here, Ray. There ain't no Mexicans around here to make no street tacos, Ray. What you gonna do? Who you gonna sell the corn to, Ray? Listen to me, Ray. I'm trying to tell you as your friend and your financial expertise. You don't have the vision. I have the vi baseball. God damn it, Ray. <laughs> what am I gonna Let me tell? Let me tell you something right now. Let me interject a very insightful, light-skinned black man. Who could explain it more better than me? me. Mana just walked in. Mana was a he. Ooh, he was a good one. Mana. Man with two ends. Man, that's his name. And he said to Ray. Ray, people will come. Ray, they'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll turn up your driveway. Not knowing sure why they're doing it. Wait, wait, what? Oh, man. Woo, boy. <laughs> I need... It's, it's size font. It's a, it's a negative five. <laughs> Hold, okay. Can I... Oh. Woo. Thank God for zooming in. You gotta zoom in. <laughs> Ray. They arrive at your door as innocent as children, longing for the past. 
Of course, we won't mind if you look around, you'll say. It's only $20 per person. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. For it is money they have and peace they lack. Ray just signed the papers. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll walk and they'll walk out of the bleachers, Ray, and they'll sit in short sleeve shirts on a perfect afternoon. They'll find they'll have reserved seats somewhere along one of the baselines where they sat then where they're hold up. Where they sat when they were children and cheered their heroes and dipped themselves in the magic waters. <laughs> the memories will be so thick, Ray, they'll have to brush them away from their faces. Ray, when the bank opens in the morning, they'll fill clothes. People will come, Ray. You're broke, Ray. <laughs> the one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like any army of steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and re-raced again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, is a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good and that could be again. Three of the hardest things for people to say, I was wrong, I need help, and Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, 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 what the fuck, sauce. Alright, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire and Christian Shire sauce. Fuck! This is DJ Dancing Bear, and one of the hardest things to say is Worcestershire. Pick up my keys, pick up my keys, and I'm driving the store. Buy me some chips, buy me some beans, and I'll buy me some more. Put them in the bag, give me your cash, get everything out of the drawer. Yeah, then I'm going to the car, coming back, and I'm getting some more. <laughs> And I'm barking at people, I'm squeezing my trigger, and I'm killing you folks. I'm getting mad while I'm putting it in dust on my spokes. I'm speeding away, looking at the cops, give him the finger. He tried to stop me, but I just ignored his blinker. I ignored his blinker. I threw a sinker right into the fucking pond. Got a couple of fish. They smell like nasty fucking stuff, like I'm always fucking clitter wrists. We got plenty of time so I can rhyme a little bit of faster. A couple of times where I get some dimes. This nasty motherfucker's about to be doing some crimes, doing some rhymes. This motherfucker about to get fucked up all day because I'm fucking all my fucking shit. Let me slay. Boom. Opened up my pastry shop. Come on by, got doing this, got a lot. Got some patience too. You want some, you want all the snot, it'll cost a lot. That's alright because I got a guap. Uh. A lot of sweets, a lot of frosty, and some sprinkles. Yes, extra taxes. Uh. And some Pringles. <laughs> Buy your bag. Don't you nag, just get the bag. Get the fuck out, don't be a fair. I just charge extra tax to Marines. Uh. Because I don't give a fuck about the dreams. If you build it, they will come, but no blacks are allowed. I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, you go home with your ugly child. <laughs> jump in an SUV, jump on the highway, doing it fast, playing Usher my way. That's a song that came out in night seven. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Uh, 97, 7-Eleven, going to fucking Kevin, that fat motherfucker, he's about to get diabetes. <laughs> fucking kill them with a little bit of Wheaties. Frosted ass shit. That fuck's cutting your fucking foot off. What's up with it? Listen, let me go. 9 11. The buildings is coming down. I'm coming to your town like Chinatown. Get the fuck out of my face, you little bitch. I'm about to fucking spray some mace. Fucking faggots about to get laced up like a fucking pillowcase. We got your fucking head in it. Cut it off. Threw it in the fucking driveway. Ran it over. Took it to the lake. Dumped it. It's my way. I'm on the highway. I'm freezing over. About to be fucking be squeezing over. Squeezing some titties, swerving over the lane, crashing my fucking car out of the rain, dying with fucking shit in my veins. Heroin, it's coming up on me, and I'm about to be going insane, huh? I must be in a danger zone, leave me alone. Michael Jackson, on your throne, that's okay. Ice cream cone, chocolate sandwich, ice cream sandwich. Oh my god, it just vanished. I want a sandwich. Words are so bad. Lettuce. 
<laughs> it's Santa Claus. Oh, damn. Up a dodge. Everybody knows how I jump in my espionage. Making up words. Okay. Laptop. Mixing board. Do some chores. Waking up. Love it. Okay. Eat some s'mores. Mmm. Tasty. Put some milk. Mix with grams. Fix it up. Uh huh. That's right. Candy cam. <laughs> and how many kids do you have, ma'am? 17. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, 17. She's hella clean. No, we're not going down that path. That's fucking too mean. <laughs> Listen, let me do a sideways turn. Let me not curse on you while I straight burn. A little bit of weed, a little bit of pot, a little ganja up in my spot. So listen, when I'm having a couple drinks, I'm not gonna be Link. I'm gonna be Zelda. I'm gonna be Pikachu when I'm playing. Super Smash Brothers, playing, slaying you hella up with that goo. I'ma straight up not be cool, cause I'm a mean freaking guy on those N64 controllers. I don't lie. Uh, da, 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 da. I jacked a purse. <laughs> yeah, she came back chasing me, but I gave her worse. And then she came to my apartment, she asked me for my number, and I hit her from the back, and I said, I'll just call you Summer. She said, Summer's my name. I said, Bitch, stop playing. She said, Yeah, I got my friend. Her name is Karen. I said, I Bring Karen to my apartment tonight. She said, I'll bring her. She is my wife. I said, bitch, you must be a lesbian. She said, yes, Marcus, I am. I said, okay, we bring her over so we can jam. Let's get in my bed and let's make a fish sandwich. She said, hurry, hurry. She said in Spanish. She said, she, yeah, Marcus, ooh, Bobby. And I said, bitch, just try to rob me. She came to my crib, but then I hit her from the back and I hit her friend like that. Then I took her ass and nap. Woo! Oh, wait, there's more? Fuck. And then, uh, and then I smoked the bowl. And she was like, yeah, dog, you a gangster stroll, yeah. Oh, then she stayed for dinner, and then she stayed for lunch, and then she stayed for brunch. And then we woke up, and then we asked, then we had breakfast, and then she started paying. <laughs> I rob a girl naked, then put her in the back of my trunk, and I leave her ass in Vegas. Still naked with cocaine in her lip, yeah, set her up like a damn snitch in that dip. I dip straight to the hotel to take the jewelry and make some good cash off a good sale, and then buy myself a plane to Miami. Yeah, right, bitch, that's what I said, plane in Miami. Who wants to go to Florida to a time like this? I said a motherfucker with a suitcase that's rich, cause I just... Killed a bitch and put her in a ditch. Why? Because somebody just paid me to be a snitch. And snitches kill snitches, especially when they get riches. And then half the time they get away with no snitches. No stitches is what I meant. But I fixed it because I paid my rent. Now I got a bitch in the back and we about to bend. Dover. Bend over and sink. Bend over and pray. See you today. Oh. Ended that kind of gay. Bend over like Rover. That's where I work. Playing with dogs all day. That's what I do. Cause I'm in a hearse. Cause I don't like people. I'd rather hang out with animals. They're better than other people. I don't like them. They're really lame. I'd rather be by myself. It's better for my health and better for my wealth. You'll be spent out with all these freaking people. You'll be like Steve Siegel. You'll not have a Siegel to stand on because you'll be from Japan and you'll be off the line. And listen, so you'll have to move to Texas in the bush and be by yourself a little wuss a little sussy ass bitch you'll be sussed up and sauced up tossed up like a salad you lost up you'll be like that guy from get out because today it was a good day i went to a barbecue and a picnic I saw ray ray said hey you want some ribs marcus i have some potato salad too and i said yo dog do you mind if i bring some of my crew we all jumped in the whip faux whip faux wheel driving i guess you know, yo, and we cruised through that joint, yo, without even cursing. Why? Because we was at church rehearsing. <laughs> yo, <laughs> no pork allowed, homie, because this is Baptist church. Wait, wait, we, we eat pork anyways, but you know what? That's the way. Why we be- <sighs> Or should I try one? I'll try one. No. <laughs> no. He was a guy. He was out in the fields. He was losing his mind because his dad was a peel. He was an orange fella, a tangerine. He was a little green guy, he was lean. Uh, and he didn't play catch with his son. And that was very sad. It made him cry. And then he saw dead people. Like the 
Sixth Sense. He was a little kid who wanted to play, but his daddy didn't have any time to stay. <laughs> he wanted to play with a damn baseball, but his dad was too busy being his wife in a hall. Uh, so he saw eight men out, eight dead guys, <laughs> baseball players he wanted to play with all the time. He was relinquished to the cornfields. <laughs> he played catch to make up for his father who wouldn't play catch with him. You know? <laughs> Are you sure it's called Kill Shy? Kill Shot. Shot. Oh. Like, shot to the heart. Exactly. It's not too late. Is at the worst. 1998. All right. <laughs> this is the worst 1998. <laughs> that would be a good song to do. To get to that okay, okay, okay. Who was that? What? Stone Temple Pilots? Who? Red Hot Chili no. Peppers? That's Def Leppard. Close enough. Not really, but the- whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Crayons, don't color up the lines. Give me the yellow, the brown, and the lime. Got a color. Yeah, the grass will limeish. That's what I want. Yeah, I'm kind of childish. Yeah, because the sky blue, kind of red. Because people are on fire. Yeah, they're turning dead. Yes, because there's apocalypse. I'm a little kid. You probably, man, what's wrong with you? Yeah, Charlie in the factory wasn't even real. Tell me what's the deal. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up and I said, Mama passed an eye quill. I'm having nightmares. Yeah, and Care Bears. And, and they're dying. Mama in my line, she said, nah, baby, that's fish I'm frying. Go back to bed. I got on some beans. Yeah, when you're waking up, you're eating some greens. And I said, yeah, that sounds tasty. She said, on the side is some sardines. And I said, sardines. She said, yeah. And I said, hip hop parade. And then I went back to bed and I woke up the next day. Yo, and I started fifth grade. Yo. And I read a couple books and I took them home. And I said, mama, hey, take a look. And she said, hold on, wait a minute, sit down and eat this sandwich before it gets cold. And I said, okay, okay, who was fried bologna? Okay, fuck that shit. <laughs> All right, uh, you ready to go? <laughs> uh, uh, you're not going to play that part, are you? She said to sit down, have a bowl of brown, like she was in Game of Thrones in King's Landing, eating that stuff. They saw called a chicken, but it was probably rat bones and nasty stones up in his face. Listen, Joffrey's the king. He's a hated piece of shit inbred motherfucker he's about to get slayed open like ned stark's open head wound when they cut his fucking shit off listen up he wasn't soft but he was cut fucking off out of his frothy ass dick what's up i'm fucking sephiroth of the kingdom call me cersei lannister because i'm straight lingering fucking fart smelling ass faggots who's about to be blown up under the red keep when she gets her fucking dragon fire Blows everybody up. They're all fucking dead. The pastor, the priest, and they're all fucking Gregory the Mountain. He's next up. All right, that was it. Oh crap! That Eminem song started without us. All right. All right. Thank you everybody for the show. Um. Uh. Marcus is gonna move up to Texas and. Not till next year. The uh. That's not Mormon. Cool. What are you gonna be? It's like a white guy. I'm going to be alone. I'm going to be a rich white guy. I'm like, oh my God, I haven't seen a human in four days. <laughs> Come on side. Come inside. Have a glass of something with me. <laughs> you need to borrow some sugar? <laughs> yep. Oh my That's God. That's what it's going to be like. Walking people's houses with like casseroles. It's going to be dogs everywhere. How do you know there's going to be dogs everywhere? I'm have have seen all, it? No, I'm gonna have a bunch of dogs. What kind of dogs? I'm gonna probably have a Doberman. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's a mean dog. Either that or a boxer. Whichever one. Yeah. Yeah. Just let him run outside. Fuck it. Boxers are fucking strong dogs. Yeah, you gotta get two of them. You got two, two boxers so they can box each fuck. other? Yeah. Fuck it. When you have a. You're gonna have. You know what I'm saying? When you got all that land. <laughs> Fuck it. How much great. land? How many acres are you gonna have? Uh, each house looks like it comes with like a quarter of an acre. It's not that much. How much is an acre? An I acre mean, is like four houses, right? Three, maybe. Okay. So probably like a half or acre. Four, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Their backyards. Some of their backyards are. Some of these places are so big, like, 
it's like a farm size. So it's a house, but then it has like just a field of shit. Yeah. Um, and then some of them have like a big front and side yard. I think I saw one place that was, it looked like a fucking school. It looked like someone took a school and changed it into a house. Oh, really? Yeah, I was looking at the pictures and I was like, the outside looked like, because the roof was green. Oh, yeah. And I was like, I don't know, bro. I mean, it's a four-bedroom. Buy a school and four, make it into a house. It looked like a